ka Mount Olive Culinary and Hospitality Management Shillong ka Khot Admission Haki Professional Courses Bapair Bapair. Yaka Jingtia ka Ba Khamnya Lecha ka City Office Hundredfold Academy Ha Malki. Kakot bala ai kreteng value must come alive. Bala tho du Emmy Ritas Archbishop Thomas Menam Parampil. Ubade u Archbishop Kajala Niamba Gohati. La palak pai ba menta kasngi ha ying mani lat im kha. Ya kan kakot la palak pai ba du menti rang ba Kajala Konrad ke sangma. Haringkat kajia donlang u most reverend Archbishop Victor Lingdo. Ubade u Archbishop Kajala Niamba Shillong. U Reverend WC Kongwir. Ubade u moderator ba rim ka Presbyterian Church of India. Dr. David Siemne, ki pastor, ki lingdo, ki sisters, ki brother na Christ King College, ki rangba, ki longkme, bat ki khenna askul. Shuawan palat jengani kakot, la yo khandiat ki jingren halor kakot, bat shempang, un nong tho, bat ki jingruai pin snu tenan. Who were very backward at that point in time. Who 
have been tried for centuries. Today, after more than three decades plus, the results are for all of us to see. It is a special privilege and it gives me great joy as well to be invited to say a few words on the occasion of the public release of the book by Ms. Master Alive by Auspicious Emeritus Thomas Menem Parampal. Auspicious interests are shown in his writing are so varied spirituality, culture, social responsibility, peace making. In short, everything that makes a person totally alive, fully human and truly divine. Scarter's ideas are synthesized and unified by his deep religious experience and by a passionate desire to share them with others. They are formulated with a clear focus, originality and creativity. He has thus broadened the horizons, widened the perspectives and shared by the vision of people in all walks of life. He has been an immense source of inspiration, creativity, encouragement and incommunicable optimism. In an earlier publication, Attempt the Impossible, he addressed and challenged his fellow believers, co-workers, not to limit to human spirit and possibilities, but rather to go beyond, expand vision in an attempt to build a vibrant church and a just and violence-free society. In the present book, we have attempted to deal with themes that are central to human existence and essential for its survival and growth. But this, the whole gospel of Jesus Christ is about a new set of values love, mercy, and forgiveness for the enemy, greatness through humble service, dignity of the socially marginalized. Richness of poverty and life and victory in death. A very notable characteristic of artificial writing is their inclusiveness and in a universal appeal. He does not limit his sources only to Christian traditions, but instead draws inspiration for all walks of life and shades of thinking. For example, the sub in the article are punctuated and made insightful by very inspiring citations from a wide variety of sources, mystics, religious thinkers, philosophers, historians, political and secular thinkers, and even agnostics.
apart from all the different things that he has done for the people of the region, he was also my father's teacher. He, he forgot to mention, the others forgot to mention that. So he was Mr. Pia Sangma, Lady Pia Sangma's teacher also, uh, which he just told me to start. And uh, so it gives me so much more pleasure, in fact, and an honor to be here in his presence, uh, a person who had been responsible in shaping uh, Mr. P.A. Sangma to what he became in his life. So thank you so much, Archbishop, and it's been a great uh, honor and a, a pleasure to, to meet you. Uh, and of course, as I said, uh, the contributions that Archbishop has made to the people of the Northeast, especially, and uh, in very, very difficult times, I think it speaks immensely about his uh, personality and more importantly, the purpose with which he has been uh, you know, brought into the religious life that he is right now, that God had chosen him for a specific reason to be where he is. And uh, he was driven by this sense of purpose to be able to uh, really make a difference in the region and help the people of our region. And uh, I'm thankful to, to Archbishop Thomas for having brought these issues out and uh, having stressed on the need to have these values today in our lives. I was really also, you know, uh, taken aback in one way at the you know, detailed way uh, Professor David Sainte was explaining about how the different aspects about conflict resolution and all these aspects that came in. Thank you very specially for his presence. And uh, Reverend Kongbi for taking interest in the church collaboration, but humanity is one. We do not even think of it in the church, it is, it is a inter uh, community collaboration whenever we think about the values, it belongs to all. It is addressed not to any particular community, it is to any human person. And thank you for taking interest and uh, mobilizing persons. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Archbishop uh, um, um, Victor, for your presence and organizing this program and to the United Nations have gone through the text. I was learning myself about the book by then, from the details that he was personally as Bishop, as Bishop, uh, uh, Professor David as well. They went through every chapter in detail and I was forgetting so many things that they reminded me of and I'm grateful to them for what they have done. And Kala, the Reverend Dr. Niyama and other friends that have come and have taken part in this program, different institutions that are going to the community, but for your collective presence. Values will come alive when we are collectively aware that it is important. Not one or two, all of us together feel this is important, but it must come alive, truly. Now, when things go well, when we can rely upon people, we can trust the institutions and systems work. When agreements are, are reliable, promises are kept, then we feel happy. And that's the kind of society in which we grew up. In our tribal society, it is precisely this. 